<laughs> Ponete serio, Eddie. Sorry about that. I don't know. I think my computer. <laughs> Now, before it were my. Do I look weird? I look Lisa, weird. I have a question. Yeah. Are we going to do the survey today? No, the survey's going to be on Wednesday. Oh, okay. I'm asking because I, uh, today I received a message about the survey. Okay. Okay. No, but it's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. Even though you received the message about the survey, you don't have to do it now. You have to do it when we are together and we do it together, okay? Perfect. That's always the rule. I don't know. Okay, sorry about that. I disconnected, uh, I don't know. My computer is, my battery's computer is dying, I think. And now I cannot have my computer unplugged. Now it has to be always plugged to the power. It is what it is. Well, let's go here. Uh, well, we finished with the uh, attendance and I was gonna tell you this. So today I was checking on your grades, okay? I was checking on your grades on the platform. It seems like many of you forgot about the platform because I see many people only with one grade, only homework one, only homework two, well, or, or at least only the homeworks and not the midterm and the exam. So today that I was checking your grades, I was like, eh, I think we have a problem. So I have some students that have finished, I like completely finished, but some others haven't. I, I don't have to say the names, I believe. You will know if it is you. Cause, yes, I have students, they have until section number two. Wait, let me see. Yeah, until section two. Yeah. So again, the platform many students have not been working on the platform and wednesday is your last day your last classes day basically by tomorrow you have to finish all the platform by tomorrow and i see we have many students still working on that I have some students that have finished, but some students I have, let me see. One, two, three, four, let me see the other page. Four, four students that are not even on the section four, on the homework four, and the, the week four, I mean, the week four. And I mean, that is, that is to worry. Because remember, when I finished the module, oh my goodness, what is happening? When I finish the module, I have to, well, we have to count the minutes that you have been connected to the classes. Besides that, we have to grade your work on the platform so it's both things together okay both things together if you have work in one of them things and not the other it's not complementary so being here in the class is one thing and working on the platform is the other thing so i don't know if you want me to say names but i believe you know if you have or haven't worked on the platform right i finished teacher Yes, you did, you finished. I have many students that have finished with a hundred percent. I have some others with a 96 and I have some others with an 80, I think, but that's okay. The problem is those students that they don't even reach the five, the 50%. Okay, so we need to work on that and we need to finish by tomorrow. Is that clear? Okay, thank you very much. 
Okay, now let's go here. We're gonna practice just one more time. And we were practicing the verbs in the past, okay? Now, I just want to practice the past just one more time because the last time I heard still some people saying the ED sound, even though it's not ED, uh, with the things that you did this weekend. So we're gonna talk about that. What did you do this weekend? That is gonna be the question. We're gonna be like a little bit of a conversation practice. And then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna do some pronunciation practice. And then we're gonna go with the topic that Fatima uh, asked the last time. It was report a speech, okay? So first we're gonna go, we're gonna talk about our weekend. Is the activity clear? You can do sign language. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. We're gonna go and ask, what did you do on your weekend? What did you do last weekend? I want everybody speaking because this is your time to practice, not my time to speak. It's your time to speak. There you go. Kenya, Doris.
Marlon. Marlon Stanley, are you there? I can't listen to you. No. So we cannot hear you, Telma. Maybe she has bad connections. That you think the brain go in the in the way that often uh, the crisis, the difficulty, the, the bad scenes, the thinking the words. That is the, the way that the brain go because of the environment we are formed in that way. And we need to change that uh, kind of thinking. And we need to guide the thinking. The, the, the expert in the brain, the expert in the, in the thinking, the people that study the thinking, the people that study the, 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 the way that we think, they tell about uh, an elephant. Is your microphone working now, Thelma? Do you hear me? Yes. Now, yes, we can hear you. Okay, I think. <laughs> you fixed the problem? Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. What was the problem? What was the problem, Thelma? Um, I don't know what is the problem because I listen my my partner, but my partner know me, not to me. And are you using the same headphones that you always use? Uh, well, well, I reconnected right mm -hmm. now, and okay, now no problem. It's right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's continue, you guys. Now, uh, I want to talk about the tongue twister. Who has been practicing the tongue twister during the weekend? No one. Don't sleep. Oh my God, don't fall asleep. Who has been practicing? Nobody? No. Okay, do you remember the thing? If I ask you right now, could you tell me the tongue twister? For example, yeah, you can tell me the tongue twister, William. Yeah. Okay, I, I want to see that. 
but I have to update the picture. Oh, you want me to share the screen with the document? Yeah, please. Okay, let me look for it. Okay, it's here. You can go ahead. Hey. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. A pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers, Peter, where is the pack of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Excellent. Good job, William. You just got confused with one word, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, good job. Good job. Who else thinks that you are able to do it? Do you think you're able to do it, Fatima? I think so. Okay. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? Excellent. Good job. Very good. You see, them only applause to the Give them an applause, you guys. Clap. You have the reactions there. You can do it through the reactions, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Now, you see how it's better saying it with a tongue twister because you're not picked. You say it with the flow of it. And when you say it with the flow of it, it's gonna be really easy to identify those pronunciations. Maybe the problem is when we are like in a real situation. Madeline, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So, <laughs> it is nice to meet you, finally meet you. Okay, very good. The last classes. In the last classes, you show your face? <laughs> well, at least, at least if I see you in the street, maybe I'm going to remember, maybe. Yes, good job. Because sometimes I'm walking down the street and some people are looking at me like, and I'm like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> but maybe if you speak to me and you're like, teacher, I'm not a student that never turned on the camera. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> right? <clears throat> now. Uh, with the flow of the tongue twister, you're gonna say that it, you're gonna say it better, not like really making an effort to say the T or the D at the end of the um, verbs in the past, but with the flow, and it's gonna sound a little bit more natural when speaking. Voluntarily, does someone wanna try to say it in this moment? Can I? Can I try? Yes, for sure. Okay. Peter Piper picked a pack of Peter Pepper. A pack of Peter Peppers, Peter Piper picked. Is Peter, is Peter Piper picked a pack of Peter Peppers? Where's the pack of pickle Peppers? <laughs> Pe peppers, Peter, <laughs> excuse me. It's okay, <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. Take it easy. Peter. Pepper Peter Piper picked. Excellent, good job. Excuse me. It's okay, don't worry, Thelma. Everyone has a different rhythm than the other students. And that's the important thing that you're trying, okay? That's the most important part, you're trying. And you're getting out of your comfort zone, okay? Very good, good job, Thelma. Give them her an applause, you guys, come on. Can applaud the video de la mala de la que corro. Okay, good job. One more participant. Anybody? You can do it. I try. Meet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go with it was Janari and then David, right? Nobody. Okay, yeah. Janari. Okay. Me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Peter Papa Pick, a pick of pickle peppers, a pick of pickle peppers, Peter Papa Pick. If Peter Papa Pick, a pick of pickle peppers, with the pick of pickle peppers, Peter Papa Pick. Good job, good job, Janari, good job. Maybe just like one or two words there misplaced, but good job, good job. And you also try to go with the speed. That's also good because you're practicing a little bit your speed, but yeah, always be careful with pronunciation as well. Good job, good job, excellent. Now let's go with David, David. Okay. Peter Piper, pick a pep of Pickled peppers, a pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. Is Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers? Where's the pack of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked? Good job, David. Excellent. Good job. 
slow, but doing it good, right? Good job. Perfect. It was good. Yes, excellent. You see, just by getting out of your comfort zone, you're doing something. Try to do it. Try to do it even though if you're not in classes. Try to do it. Just try to get out of your comfort zone. Because when you're like, mm, I don't know, just listening, 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 then one day you'll say, hey, you know what? I don't know why, but the English is difficult. Because when I listen to people, I can perfectly understand them. But when I have to speak, I get really confused. And I don't know why. Because you always listen. Don't you think that's why? And you don't speak. So if you don't speak, how are you going to be able to communicate your idea? For example, when you're talking to a two-year-old, a toddler. Do you know they are called toddlers? Yeah? The kids between one and a half to three years around that it's like mostly two year old they are called toddlers toddlers that's what they are called like little kids toddlers so when you talk to a toddler and you say ¿Quieres pacho? and the baby is like he can communicate the idea but he can perfectly understand what you're saying he can perfectly understand if you say um, ¿Quieres un pedazo de pizza o quieres una manzana? The baby is always going to choose maybe the pizza, right? I want the, the little piece of pizza, right? And I want that. Also, another thing. Some people, what, what, one time I was teaching a class and someone told me, teacher, why do you say pizza? Because that's the name of it, pizza, right? It's Italian food. And two Z's together, they sound like pizza, like that, pizza. Like, for example, mozzarella, mozzarella, that's what it, how it's supposed to be said, right? Like, for example, pupusas. If you go to the United States, they call them papusas. And it's not, it's not that the name, it, it's pupusas, right? That, that's the name, exactly. Okay, that little commercial, let's go back here. That's why you need to speak, you need to communicate, you need to practice, because if you don't do it, then you're only gonna be able to understand but not to communicate, okay? We're gonna go now with the topic that Fatima asked me to talk about, reported speech. So basically the word tell us what it's about, reported speech. Basically it's like a reporter. You know what is a reporter, right? When you're watching the news and there is a reporter there, yeah? Can you do at least like a yes with the head? So I think that you're listening to me maybe? No, no? <laughs> okay, so reporter. Reporters are the ones to communicate an idea, to communicate something. That's why it's called reported speech. For example, yesterday, it's an example. Maybe I was talking to Yanari and Yanari said, hey teacher, you know, I make pupusas on Sunday. I was like, wow, so Yanari makes pupusas on Sunday. Perfect. And then I'm talking to David, for example. And I tell David, you know what, David? Jessica told me she made pupusas on Sunday. So in that case, I'm using the reported speech because I'm telling someone else what someone else said or what someone else did. And here is the situation that Fernando asked me the last time. Like, how can you avoid saying that and that and that and that? Sometimes it's like really unnecessary to say it. So with the reported speech, maybe you will say, Janari told me that she made pupusas on Sunday, you know, that she made. That is okay, but I can avoid the that because it's unnecessary. And I can only say, Yanari told me she made pupusas on Sunday without the that, because it's not necessary. Now, when you're talking about the reported speech, you need to have this in mind, on mind. If you're talking, or if the person told you this in the simple present, you're gonna tell the story in the simple past, right? Because you're communicating the idea. 
If the person tells you the story in the present continuous, you're gonna tell the story in the past continuous, okay? If the person told you the story in the simple past, you're gonna tell the story in the present perfect or the past perfect, okay? I'm gonna show you some examples right now. But the thing is that when you're like in Spanish, it's like almost the same thing in Spanish. But in Spanish, we always say que, that, that. And we also, I don't know about you, <laughs> we're really on to the reported speech. But I have heard a lot of people that said a lot. Dice que le dijo, dice que le dijo, dice que le dijo, dice que le dijo. And they say that a lot, like way too much. It's like, I got it the first time. You don't need to say it every sentence. So they say one sentence, dice que le dijo. One sentence, dice que le dijo. One sentence, dice que le dijo. And that's how they do it. So the same with reported speech. So this person told me that the other person did this and that, that, blah, blah. You can say the whole sentence without saying it every single sentence after every single sentence. Okay, now I'm gonna make some examples here on the board. Okay, let's do the example that I was talking about, Janari, right? Janari, she told me, okay, so she said, I make pupusas on Sunday, okay? She told me like that. So I'm telling someone else the story and I will say, maybe I can say Janari or I can only say she, okay? She, now, told me, because you're gonna introduce that with the phrase told me. She told me she made pupusas on Sunday. So basically what is changing is the subject because I'm talking about a third person now and she was talking in the first person. Then the verb, it was in the present. Now I said it in the past, okay? This is what is changing. Then all the, the other things are just the same. Now, let's go with another, oh, and also, sorry about that. And also, I could use, she told me that she made pupusas on Sunday. I can say that. She told me that she made pupusas on Sunday, but it is unnecessary. And I'm just like adding extra information. So it is not completely necessary to be there. Question. Yeah. Can you say, she said she made pupusas on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, you, you can say she said, but if you're talking about she said, you're just talking it like in a general way. So maybe she didn't tell you, she just said it. Maybe she was screaming on the street. I said pupusas on Sunday, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> but she said it's like very general. Told me is punto. Okay, now let's go. Okay. She said she was cleaning <laughs> the whole house on Sunday. Maybe, maybe. She said, but she said in general. She didn't yeah, say it general. like punto. Exactly. Okay, now let's go with another example. The example that I'm going to give you is uh, we're going to go with, let me see. Freddy's because Freddy's was here. Freddy's. Okay. So Freddy's, he told me, I was cleaning, okay, he said, right? I was cleaning the house. No, wait, 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 sorry, sorry. I am, yes, I am, sorry about that. I am cleaning the house this weekend. I am cleaning the house this weekend or oh, today let's do it with today it's gonna be better today i am cleaning the house today but now i'm gonna say that he told me say i'm gonna say no i'm gonna talk i'm gonna say i'm not gonna tell i'm, I'm gonna say he or you can say the name he told me i can use that but i'm not gonna use it because it's unnecessary he told me he was cleaning 
but so sorry, I need a comma actually. I didn't tell you that. Oh wait, uh, 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 there. He told me he was cleaning the house, but now I'm telling someone. So maybe it is not today that I'm telling that person. And maybe Vladimir told me that yesterday. So he told me he was cleaning the house yesterday. And the time is gonna change, okay? The time is gonna change because I'm talking in a different timeline than the timeline than when he told me. Is it clear so far? Yes. Fatima, am I explaining it right? Okay, perfect. Now let's do another example. Maybe we're talking about William now. William can't find his car, but he said, I left my car here. Okay, I left my car here. What is it? Now we're talking with the past, you see, left. Now, I'm going to talk about the past perfect, okay, with this. And I'm going to say, he told me he, in the past, um, the past perfect is going to be with had. So he told me he had left his car. And maybe I'm not in the same place. So it's not going to be here. In that case, it's going to be there. You see, I was talking about a past statement. But when I was talking about it, like that person told me this, I changed the tense and now I'm using the past perfect. Yeah or no? A little bit confusing? I know it's confusing. I know. I know it can be confusing. But just to get the idea, you're gonna change the tense. Do you know what is a tense? What is a tense? I'm gonna it, um, it right to the sentence, past, tense. present, or future. Exactly. The tense basically is what we call in Spanish, tiempo, right? Verbal. That is what it is, the tense. Thank you very much to the guys that opened the mic to speak. And thank you, Andres, for giving me the answer. Okay. Now, now, if I'm telling a story, I'm communicating the idea. I don't know. I'm moving my hands here and you cannot see me, but I'm moving, like I'm explaining. <laughs> if I want to say something that someone told me, I need to change the tense because I'm not going to tell you. Janari told me she makes pupusas because she maybe is not in the moment. I'm talking about the past, okay? I'm talking about the past. She told me that in the past. Now I'm gonna use that. And if she told me in the moment with the present continuous, I'm gonna talk about the same thing, but in the past continuous, because I'm not talking about in the present, in the exact moment that she's doing that situation. Yeah? 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 Okay. Perfect. We're going to do some exercises, but before we go to the exercises, wait a second, wait a moment. We're going to go with attendance because then I'm going to forget and I don't want to forget about it. Oh, but I have it here. Okay. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Estefani Navarro Flores. Present. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Present. Eh, Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. 
I'm here, teacher. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Okay. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Um, Jessica Yanari Cortes Díaz. Here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abar. Present. Now you hear me, teacher? Now I can hear you. Oh, thank you. But I think it was my computer because then it turned off. I don't know. I, I think that was it. Sorry about that. Okay, perfect. Now, let's do some exercises about that, about the reported speech. Now, let's see here. We have this and says, what did they say? Study the picture and then rewrite each of the quotes using reported speech. Now we have here nine people speak and they are saying different things, okay? Now, the teacher right here, I'm sticking this poster on the wall. The teacher said, what is the teacher? Do you think it's a man or is a woman? Man. It's a man teacher. Okay. So teacher said that he, he he's sticking or he was sticking. Said he was. He was because even though he's saying it in the see in the present continuous, I'm gonna tell the story like it is in the past. So he was sticking that poster on the wall. And then you're going to do the same with the other students and what with what they are saying. Let's come like, yeah, you see, it's correct. Okay. Do you get the activity? You get the idea of what we're going to do? Yes. Yep. Yes. Just to practice it a little bit. And then we're going to get with more rules and stuff, more things that we have to say. Okay. Let's go. And actually, we can do an activity with this. We can do the broken phone. Have you ever played that? Yes, teacher. Wait, like, wait, wait, yeah, whatever. We can, I think we can, uh, there's a way, maybe in the breaker rooms. Okay, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go to work. Let's get to work. Let's go. Martin. Doris.
Rob says, I hate yeah. tennis. Rob say that. Teacher. He hate it. Tell me. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Why you say twice that bad? What? My said mm -hmm. that that was the number oh, four. It's just a mistake. I think yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait a second. Matt said that that was a boring lesson. No, 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 it's not a mistake. It's because the first one is that as in joining two statements and the other one is referring to the lesson as that. Because if you see, there is not a subject in the sentence. So the subject no. will be that referring to the lesson. There's supposed to be a comma in between them then. Yeah, there's supposed uh, to be a comma. Yes, yes. But in the number three? Oh, in number three, we have to change it then. Sika said that, that too much homework. That teacher gave, we that, see that, that teacher gave. That but teacher, if that we teacher. use only gave. Yeah, you can say that that teacher gave. Yes, that I we seen that this one. Yeah, correct. In the in the number thing, number two, sorry. We have a problem with Sam. Mm -hmm. We don't know it's a girl, yeah, it's a boy, girl. it's an alien. Because yeah, let me Sam see. says that he didn't understand. Uh huh. Because he, he if you use no, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's he because if it's... you see the she one uh -huh. is in the simple present and yes, it has, it's yes. to be the simple present have to be in the simple past. For for that reason, we we choose the first one. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. The number seven. He hated it.
I told you. <laughs> yeah. I told you what? What did you tell him? Yeah. I knew it. What did what did you tell him? No, Jar Jarvin is told me. Jarvin told you. Jar yeah. What did he tell what did he tell you? That the teacher was coming. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, we have a, a carbine. You have a radar. Yeah, I feel uh, him. <laughs> the hey, energy. Yeah, you. I think it's a positive energy, of course. Hey, <laughs> Harbin, I have a question. Do you like okay. to be called Harbin or Jarbin? Harbin. Harbin. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was I was I was thinking that because some students like to be called the other way. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Did you guys finish? Yeah. Yes, we did. Okay. Did you get a 10 of a 10? Yeah. We sent it to the group. We sent it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll see. I that we have a 10. We need a.
seems like they don't want to come to the class. They are working, maybe? Or they are in the gossip. Okay. We're going to do an activity right now. I'm going to say something, okay? And you are going to repeat what I said. Okay, for example. And then the person that repeats what I said, it's going to say something new and the other person is going to repeat. I don't know if you get it. We're going to do like a little bit of a practice so you can get it. I teach English every day. How would you say that, Fatima, in reported speech? You tell your classmates, not me. She told me she taught classes. Uh, I can't remember what you said. <laughs> Every week? Every day. Every day. Exactly. But in this case, Fatima, you think it will be, she told me, or she said. Because I said it in general, right? Mm -hmm. So it will be, she said, right? Okay. Okay. Now you tell something like, and I'm going to pick the person who's going to repeat it. I did the laundry in the morning. Okay, William. Huh? Say, it, say it again, Fatima. I did the laundry in the morning. She told, she told me, uh, she, she had, teacher, um, she had done or what? I don't know. Yeah, you're doing right. Oh, uh, she had done, I don't, I can't remember. What the, the laundry. What okay. She had done the laundry, uh, in the morning. Okay. Excellent. But she said or she told you? She told me. She told you? Oh, in general, she said. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you, William. Now, you, William, are going to say something. And I'm going to choose the person who's going to do the report the speech. Okay. Um, I, I was cleaning my, ha my house. Okay. Wow. That's a, that's a, that, that's a tricky one. Okay. I was cleaning my house. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. David. He said he has been cleaning the house. Wow, David. Good job. That's a, that was a tricky one. That was tricky. Okay. Now you say something, David. Okay, I went to the church last Sunday. Okay, I went to the church last Sunday. Fernando. Mm, he told me uh, he has gone to the church. Had. Had. Uh -huh. He had. Gone to the church? Gone to the church last Sunday. Last Sunday. But he told you or he said? He said. Okay, he said. Now you, Fernando. Okay. Uh, I type a lot of code today. Can, could you repeat that? I type a lot of code today. Call, calls. Code. Codes, codes, codes. Okay. He, okay, okay. Uh, Madeline. Uh, can he repeat because I okay? Could you repeat that, Fernando? I type a lot of codes today. 
I um, he said that he had time, a lot of to code or calls mm -hmm. to the uh, yesterday. Well, but he's telling you today, so it will basically okay. Okay. Thank today. you, Madeline. Now you say something. I I was cleaning my room. Okay. Just that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Vladimir. I'm <laughs> bet She said she was yeah, she was cleaning her room. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Where? She said, Where? like, that. Mm -mm. She Where? said. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. You sure that? So she was cleaning her room, right? She was mm -hmm. cleaning. It is the same like David said had been cleaning exactly had been cleaning her room because remember if we're talking about the past we're gonna use the we're gonna use the past perfect, past perfect. Exactly. okay now Fredis, you say something i heard a weird noise in the meeting room I heard a word noise in the middle room. Okay, Manuel. Okay, he said that he had heard noise on the mirror. Noise. A weird, a weird, a weird noise. A weird. Uh -huh. In the middle room. In the middle room. Okay. okay. He said he had heard. Uh, a noise on the middle rows. Meeting room. Meeting room. Okay, sorry. Like, I didn't meet, hear like meeting one. room. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now you say mm -hmm. something, Manuel. Mm -hmm. It is correct. The sentence. Yeah, he had he, heard. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Um. I must go to the supermarket today. Okay. I must go to the supermarket today. Okay. Okay. That's going to be, I don't know if you remember how to say those things, guys, but yeah, let's try it. Blanca. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Okay. I go. I, I didn't hear what, what Manuel said. <laughs> Could you repeat that, Manuel? Sure. I must go to the supermarket today. He say? <laughs> <laughs> that he went to the supermarket today. Okay. Thank you, Laka. Not exactly, but here's the thing. So he said must. And must doesn't have a translation in the past tense, and he's talking about the simple that I must go to the supermarket, I must go. But instead of must, we can use had, had to. So mm -hmm. he said he had to. Oh. Okay, now you say it, Blanca, say the complete sentence. He's Say he have to go to the supermarket today. Good job, excellent. That's how you say it. Okay. okay. Now, this is this was all said because uh, the person was talking just in general because we were talking in general like that. But for example, if I go, Telma, I have to tell you something. Now I'm talking to Telma. See, I'm talking to Telma. Telma, I have to tell you something. I was sick 
yesterday. And now you're going to tell this to Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Tell me. Uh, the teacher said. Uh, that, did I say or did I tell you? Did I tell you? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, the teacher told the teacher told me that uh, she was she was saying she was Are saying you, uh, because I told you I was yeah. sick yesterday, so you oh. say the teacher told me she she was she was saying. Uh, no, you, because if I am using the simple past, you have to be using. I don't remember what is the compliment, uh, compliment the, the sentence. <laughs> could, you, could you help her, guys? Can someone help her? Oh, tell her. Hmm? Have been. Have been. Because I said I ah, was. Okay. It's past perfect. Exactly, because I'm using yes. the simple past. Had, had been. Uh -huh. She had been. Sick. He, she had. Uh, mm -hmm. Had been had, sick yes. yesterday. Exactly, yeah. that's how it is. Thank you, Thelma. Okay, now, guys, we're going to do the same activity, but in smaller groups, because I need you to speak and I need you. And right now, I can see your faces. You're like, yeah, thinking, right? Try and think. Some of you, some of you are such pros that you should be teaching this class. I know. But some of you, it is about to rain cats and dogs. Okay. Hopefully, it, will, it won't interfere with the class. Okay. Now, if I say something in the future, I say will, right? How will I say that in reported speech? Would. Would, exactly. I will say it with would. I will go to the house or to the, I, um, I will go to my work tomorrow. She said she will go to her work tomorrow, right? That's how we're going to say it. So we're going to do the same activity we're going to do in the small groups and the breakout rooms. And what I want you to do is try to say both, to practice said and to practice told. What we're going to do is when you're going to practice said, just say it in general and then pick the person who's going to repeat what you said. If you want to tell someone something, Pick the person and say, hey, I want to tell you something. And then you say that so the person can do the report the speech. Is the activity clear? Yep. Yes. Okay, perfect. Remember, this is your time to practice, not my time to practice. This is you. This is all on you. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Let's join. Stories, Marlon.
it was time to do this, he said. She said he in was he era... was studying. He has been. Um, he said he uh, has been working. The first one. Uh, no, he had, he he said he had, he had been yes. studying yesterday. Studying studying yesterday. Yeah. I will go to the party. He told me he will go to the party. He will go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marlo, my turn. I'm sorry. It is funny, what? but the the other students are working on the same worksheet. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I share this worksheet because I, I found I found in the in the same page that you it. shared with us. Yeah. And, the, and actually it, that was the that was the next worksheet that I was gonna assign, but you're already working on that. So <laughs> yes, this this is very complete, right? Very complete for the for the instructions and the, the exercise I, I, are very difficult. Yeah, the exercise are very difficult. Yes, he was, was studying. Very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I will he's try also to... telling you about questions, about say, tell, object, infinity request, um, when you use the if for questions and all that. Yes, I, I was trying to do some of the exercise and, and it's very difficult, yes. But challenge yourself. Yes, yes, I, I, I will try to, to answer then. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay, Marlon, me, my, my sentence. I had studied for two years. Jarvin yeah. told me, no, yes, Jarvin told yes. me that, that he, that he was being starry for three years. No. no. He had. He had been? Yes. He had been starry for three years.
Hello. So basically, talking in reported speech is to talk about something that someone told me or something that someone said. It's like a chambrecito, right? Wait a second, my computer. Wait, wait, wait. Es un día en el mercado, entonces. <laughs> Maybe, something like that. But we don't need to go to the mercado. We don't need to go to the street market. That's how it's called in English. We don't, go to go, we don't need to go to the street market in order to have some gossip, right? Well, uh, something that I have to remind you of is that you have to work on the platform, okay? If you haven't finished the platform, you have to work there. I don't have to say names. You know who you are, right? And there are like four people here. You need to work there, please, please. Because by tomorrow, I need to update your grades. Remember, tomorrow is the last two hours class. On Wednesday, we're gonna have just one hour class. And on Wednesday, we're gonna do the survey. Yes? Okay, let me check okay, just with the attendance of the ones that are here. Let's see. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present teacher. And happy early birthday. Thank you. <laughs> thank okay. you, thank you. You're welcome. We only have two hours. Two hour, two more hours. You see, I'm gonna yeah. put the first one who said happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Uh, Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortez López. Aquí. Harbin, here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Present. Delma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Right? Present. Bye. Okay, you guys. Bye bye. Have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember to work on the platform, please. Okay? Thanks, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye